good morning and welcome to Crafty Tuesday and here we are with another Tuesday and lockdown continues we're still being encouraged to spend as much time as possible in our homes and I know we're not going back to nursery school or school for a little while yet so I've got some more lovely crafts that we can do today. But firstly, of course, thank you. Thank you so much for the bunting and the lovely things you did last week. And I hope that you managed to have a lovely day on Friday, do something a little bit special, maybe have a special tea or something like that. Father Paul and I certainly had a lovely time with our neighbours and the bunting looked lovely in our windows. And I hope those of you who made bunting, which I know some of you did, that it looked nice in your house as well. So what are we doing today? Well today we're going to be making fish, things that are in the sea, pretty colourful fish and I've got some as always that I've done before. So the first thing I'm going to do is a simple one, we'll start with the simple one and that's this one here if you can just see it, just made out of a paper plate, nothing complicated that one, you just need to get a white paper plate just like that one there and you cut out the shape of the mouth I'll do it with the one I've got here it's so easy this one that nobody can really make many mistakes remember if you're little you get your grown up you say can you help me please with this one I need help with the scissors and the cutting so you cut out a little shape just like that a sort of triangle and tape it onto the back like that and you've got a fish shape very easy isn't it that's got to be the easiest craft that we've done I think which one a bit later on today is not going to be so easy so there's your fish shape and then you can decorate it you can decorate it how you like you can see I've put little bits of paper on that one um, tissue paper you could just paint it you could get your sponge paints out and just put little spots on it you might have some stickers that you can put on it and then of course just like I've done there if you've got a big wobbly eye put the wobbly eye on it if not you could always paint an eye on it as well and then you can make it to hang in your window or whatever else you want to do with it so that's the first fish we can do the second one we can do is a jellyfish. Have you ever seen jellyfish? If you've ever been on a holiday, sometimes you can see jellyfish on the beach. And here's the jellyfish that I did earlier on. The good old plate again, cut in half with the tissue paper coming off it. So there's the one that I started earlier, like I always do. Just get some tissue paper. Again, it doesn't have to be tissue paper. Any paper that you've got, you could use coloured paper that you might have at home, old wrapping paper. You can even do it with ribbon or um, wool or anything, but just cut strips with whatever you can think about that you've got in your house. Just cut the strips like that. And again, with glue or sellotape, you know, I, on Crafty Tuesdays I use sellotape because it's a little bit quicker, but you can just stick the legs on like that they're not called legs they're called tentacles but you can put them on there all different colors I did this one just in two colors because I thought it was rather nice in those just those two colors but you could do it in multi-colors as I say I've seen people do them with paper with ribbon and with wool so you could do it with whatever you like and make an octopus and then put the face on there you can draw the face on but if you've got sticky eyes you can use those as well and that gives you a jellyfish now we get to, to the more complicated one and I've started this one and then I'll work on it with you. What we're going to do is we're going to make a fish out of cardboard and tin foil and what you need to do is you need to get a bit of really good quality cardboard. This is just a box that arrived from Amazon, anything like that. If anybody at home has had a parcel delivered and it's got a little box, it's come in a box, which it always does nearly, sometimes a bag, then keep the box and get them to draw a fish shape. You can get templates online like that 
and cut it out. It's good if it's good solid card. This isn't flimsy card, this is strong card. Cut it out and then it's best to do it if it's a bit of card like this it's got a nice white side and then it's got a brown side do this on the brown side because that's the bit that's going to be covered over and with your print stick a print stick just put lines on your um lines on your fish like that oops i've got into a bit of a mess here look good job i've got yeah, i'll put my hand straight in the paint then what a mess I mean. Um, with, with, with your print stick, you put lines, lines across the fish that you've made and then you stick the string on. So you just stick the string on just anywhere you want across the glue so that you've got a nice um, pattern of string on your... Um, fish shape just keep sticking it on until the whole piece of card is covered like that in string in different patterns when you've done that you get a bit of tin foil and what I've discovered is that the best thing you can do when you've done that is to cut a bit of cling film uh, cling film tin foil the shape that you inside you want it and put your bit of fish on it like that, just put your fish on it like that, cut round it, and then, let me just do this because you can't hear me when I do that, then just twist and tuck the tin foil on like that. So you see that side where I've, where I've put it on, and then it's like that on that side. When all of that's done, the next thing you need to do is just smooth it out with your fingers. And as you smooth it out with your fingers, the string will come through. So you get the nice pattern, the ridges of where the, um, can you see that? You can now see where my string was underneath. So you do that. And then the next thing you can do is you can paint it. It's best that you try and paint that and not paint your fingers, which is what I've just done. Now this bit sounds very silly and very mad, but honestly, I've done it and it works. Just get your brush a little bit wet, like you always do, but you need to dip your brush in, in the paint and into a bit of washing up liquid. So mix up the washing up liquid in your paint. So you've got a mixture of washing up liquid and paint. And then you can paint over the tin foil like I'm just doing here, between the lines. And it really is a lovely, lovely pattern it makes. It takes a little while to dry. And then you can go to your next colour. And remember, you don't paint on the best table. You ask the grown-up where you can paint. But you make your mixture up again with your washing up liquid and you paint. You can do the next colour. And you just keep going on like that until at the end you've filled up the whole fish in that, in that way. I won't carry on doing it now because it, it'll take me a little while and you don't really want to watch me just paint a fish. That's not what you've come here for. But you can see here what what it looks like. You just keep painting until the whole fish is done. And once the whole fish is done, you have to leave it to dry. It's very important you leave it to dry. It does take a little while to dry on tin foil. And then you've got a nice thing. You could put a bit of stick behind it and it can go in the sea or you can hang it in your window or you've just got a nice shiny fish. But do leave it to dry. It is quite important, this one, that you leave it to dry because it takes a long while. You can do a similar thing which is what I've done here and instead of using cardboard like I did from a parcel you could just use ordinary white card like this and then when you cut it out it's not as strong as the one we've um, just done but you can still paint it the same way with the paint and the washing up liquid and you can make a lovely little scene like that of fish swimming on some black paper or you could have blue paper or just white paper and paint the background there's all sorts of things you can do um, when you do that one my advice to you is because i did it 
um, this way is stick the tin foil onto the card. Just take a bit of tin foil and stick it onto the card. You can do it with Pritt stick. Then turn the card over, draw the fish on the other side, cut it out. If you do want to put um, pattern on it, you can put pattern with string on the card and then put the tin foil over, let it dry, turn it over and cut the fish out because it's not as strong as the cardboard we've used before. And then when you've cut it all out, you can then stick it onto it. It won't be as um, robust as the one you've made before. So you can then put it on another bit of card. So that's what you can do. So that's the last one you can do. You can do a nice little um, seam. You can do other things, can't you? It'd be nice to maybe um, paint a Nemo. That's a lovely one, isn't it, to paint? Because it's nice colours, isn't it? The white and the black and the red of Nemo is rather lovely. So there's lots of things you can do for fish. And that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see our Facebook page. Remember, you can put this on our Crafty Tuesday Facebook page. So it's the scene that we've just done. It's the jellyfish which I've got here it's the first fish I did at the end at the beginning which is so easy but it's really lovely to do and then the last one that I started and you saw me doing it with the tin foil which I know when I finished it is going to be very beautiful but we have to wait for it to dry so that's what I'd like to see lots of on my uh, page so thanks for coming today and I look forward to seeing you next week goodbye <laughs>